Now think about this. Surely a man who claims to be Jesus and was actually Jesus, just imagine, you know, just a scenario. If that was the case, surely he would have some originality, don't you think? Surely he would not need to borrow or even hijack someone else's ideas. So James Paget was an automatic writer as a medium. It was his method, his technique, to supposedly communicate with the spirit world, allow his hand to be taken over, and for, well, the writing to be from the spirit world. From his wife, from relatives, from friends, law colleagues, because he used to be a lawyer before being a medium, and basically, his ideas, his broad spiritualist philosophy, has now been adopted by A.J. Miller. Sure, A.J. Miller will say, it's original. He will say, it's what I've brought through. But, really, in actuality, it's simply borrowed from a man who died 90 years ago. Jehovah's Witness broke away from that looked into other spirituality, including the stuff of, perhaps, in fact, most certainly, the work of James Paget, amongst others, and then decided he was Jesus. Yes, I'm Jesus, send me your money. Or, yes, I'm Jesus, I should be on medication. Yeah. Unless, of course, you're saying that James Paget, basically, he was told that information by the now, you know, A.J. Miller, before he was born, as some kind of you know, heavenly Jesus. Is that going to be the argument there? Although, doesn't it make a lot more sense if he's just simply a unoriginal cult leader who's taking ideas from others because he hasn't got sufficient intelligence to put together a decent theology himself? Why bother writing an entire book's worth of information if you can simply borrow other people's ideas and use them in a loose way and then say, yes, this is my theology, when really it's simply well, ripping off some other people.